it's Miss Multi247 here, and today I'm bringing you episode 3 of my new daily series, um, 642 Things to Write About. So, yeah, I wrote a lot this time, so get my book. Day 3, got it all done in school. Proud of myself. Alright, so let's find my day 3 book. Here it is, with my little day 3 in the corner. So I had to write four different things this time. So that included a small, like, story, um, another small story, and these were three small, th three paragraph stories, and then this was one big story. So let's get started. So this top one right here up in this top corner. The prompt is, where would you be now if you had married your first love? So basically you had to write a short story describing where you would be right now. So this is what I have. The wind blew my way, releasing the smell of roses and fresh cut grass. It was, beautiful. It was a beautiful day in Kauai. The balcony view of the ocean from our far fairly large beach house. Our two children, children, Elena and Allison. I can't read today, okay? We're just going to start over because I can't read. Okay. The wind blew my way, releasing a smell of roses and fresh cut grass. It was a beautiful day in Kauai. The balcony view of the ocean from our fairly large beach house. Our two children, Elena and Allison, jumping on the trampoline. Life is good. So, Yes. Hopefully, that's where I would have been if I married my first love. 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 Okay. So, the second one in the middle, right here, this chunk, says, Imagine someone who tells a lie to himself and others. What would happen if he stopped lying? So, I wrote a little short story. Here we go. All he... Okay, and this is the point of view of one of oh, the people he lied to, so... All he does is lie. All lies. One time, he said he had 14 dogs, so I asked his mother, and they only have two. He said he stopped lying, but I don't believe him, because one day he said some men were up to kill him. We don't believe him. Ever since then, he's been missing. I bet he's at home, lying to us about gone mi going missing. So basically, where I was going was, he stopped lying, and he was actually killed, but you know people, or no, he was taken, he wasn't killed, but people don't believe that he was actually taken away from those men. Alright, so this bottom one right here is a little bit short, but it says, put your character or yourself in the dark, see what happens, and this is what happens to me when I'm in the dark, so, but I, I just used a different name. Pure darkness, Elena could only see the dark, blinding her as she walked. She screamed in fright, only for the darkness to swallow her screams. She kept running into things. She sat in a corner and cried into her hands and eventually fell asleep. So basically what happens when I'm in the dark is I get pretty freaked out and I sit in the corner. It's kind of embarrassing, but this is what I do. I sit in the corner and I go like this and I just kind of like go like this. I don't cry, but I, I look, I just go like this and I eventually fall asleep because, you know. Alright, so this last one, I was actually really interested to write, um, let me focus my camera here. So, it is this long one. So, what it says is, you are a military officer responsible for going to people's homes to inform them that a family member has died in combat, is a prisoner of war, is missing in action, and the like. Describe one of the notification scenes. So I went with a member has died in combat. So this is of my point of view, basically first person point of view. So yeah. I was so nervous, my knees and arms shaking. What do I say? Sorry ma'am, your husband is dead. I thought to myself. I had a time limit, so I manned up and rang the doorbell. Of course, my worst nightmare just became a reality. Next paragraph. A small little boy answered the door. Hello, my name is Johnny. I'm three and a half years old. My daddy is fighting for our country, and I'm very proud of him. 
Oh, God, I mumbled to myself. Soon after, the mother came in the door, came to the door. So I stepped inside and introduced myself. Hi, I'm Josh Rundale. I am here to deliver some news. What kind of news? The mother, Jane, asked. Well, I tell about family in combat, I went on. I'm terribly sorry, but your husband has been killed. Jane and Johnny burst into tears. I remember from training to be strong, so I thanked them for their time and walked off, slowly and solemnly shutting the door behind me. Yeah, so... That's that story. So, this has been episode three, and in the camera, I'm just going to... Um, just for next episode, just so um, you know, I'm not picking a page that I want to, that I am flipping to a page. So, let's flip to a page here. So. Alright, oh god. So, these are the ones... I will be doing, these are two long ones. I don't know if we're ready for two long ones, honestly, because... Okay, I'm, I'm just going to, I don't understand one of them, so I'm just going to pick another one. I'm, I'm sorry. Alright, so we're going to pick a one that has a couple more. How about we do this one right here? So this one has... Two medium sized and three short ones. So basically, this is coming out next episode. You are lost in a foreign country. You can't find anyone who speaks English. How do you <clears throat> how do you react and how do you find your way? Make a scene with a character exhibiting really bad behavior. What you used to do when you don't do anymore that you don't do anymore. The people who will live in your house after you move out. The corpse you saw in the undertaker's window. So, yeah. That's the one I will be doing tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below what you want to see next. I hope you continue watching this series and you enjoy it. And you enjoy it. Thumbs up the video if you liked it, hated it, or loved it. Um, and... Click that subscribe button, it only takes a second, and I really appreciate it. Keeps me, mo me motivated to keep doing more videos, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.